Good morning, everybody. This your boy Smoke Grill 305. Sorry, I haven't been make a video for a minute because I was testing this smoker. So I want to know: Does it live up to its expectations, and what does it deliver? So this electric smoker. Now, this this electric smoker was retail for $599, which is close to $600. But I got it from my from my place, Lowe's, for 150 because it was on clearance. So I took it, let it deliver in my home, tried it out, and I got good results with it. But there's one con I'm gonna take is that smoke box right on the bottom, which I'm gonna explain to you later. Now, this this electric smoker could be like my oven replacement because it's like an outdoor oven, but except your oven could go up to 400 degrees or greater, or even 500 degrees. Majority of ovens go 500 degrees. Now, your electric smoker goes to 275. Now, give and take that it goes to 275 because electric smokers are low and slow cookers. They're not gonna be fast like your household oven and all that stuff. But this is this is alternative low slow cooking. Now, if I was to do chicken in the oven, it'll take me one hour. Now, with electric smoker, if I was doing a chicken, it's gonna take me two hours to do it because your household oven goes to 500 max. Your electric smoker max is 275 but it goes low and slow and it makes the chicken and any meat moist. It gives that moisture because of that water pan underneath the bottom. What it do is, when it starts heating up, it heats up. Now, with electric smoker, being mindful that electric smoker takes long time to heat up to 275. So keep in mind too also with that. Now your oven, Will, will heat up maybe five or 10 minutes to heat up. Now your electric smoker might take 30 minutes or 40 minutes to heat up because it's low and slow because since this electric smoker is a lot bigger, it takes time to heat up the, to heat, to heat it up. So be mindful, if you think about purchasing electric smoker, especially electric, it's going to take a long time to heat up. Maybe 40 minutes or 30 minutes, depending on the model. It don't have to be this brand, Charbro. It could be other brands. So keep in mind that this will take time to heat up. Now, another good thing with electric smoker, it does produce smoke flavors. Trust me. You could get any wood chips with it. You could get cherry, um, Jack Daniels. Well, mostly I use Jack Daniels, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. These are the two guys I use. Now, cherry, Cherry uh, wood chips will make that overpowering, overpowering smoke flavor, whereas the Jack Daniels is not. So, all you have to do with this is open this after it finishes heat up. Excuse me about it's being dirty. And you put on this wood chips right here. You put the wood chips right here. Right here, and you put your water right in here, and you close it, let it go with town. So, some meats might take four hours because why well, say four hours? Because let's say if I was to do ribs or chicken, two hours each, two hours to cook two hours to put your your barbecue sauce 
pour your your gravy or anything on it. Let it go for two, let it cook for two hours first. And then another two hours, you gotta go to um, you know, basing like your barbecue sauce, your your gravy, all that stuff. That's why it takes four hours, because you take two hours to cook, two hours to um let it um marinate inside the smoker. And let me tell you something, it will be fall off the bone. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. But with electric smoker, this is what some people some people would do. You've got to be patient. Think of what you, with your oven. This one you got to be more patient with it. Because if you're not patient with it, if you just keep open, 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 you're going you're gonna to let the smoke go out and you're going to let the heat out go out at the same time. And plus, it's going to take even more longer to cook it. So be mindful. This smoker, you got to be patient. Be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient. Don't rush. It's going to do the job for you. That's why they say, set it, forget it. That's it. Let it do its job. It's, heat up, it's heating up. Your, your food is cooking. Now, there's one thing that Charbroil have, which I'm going to be back right now. Now, also Charbroil have is this remote right here. You see right here? I can control it, I can see what it's doing. I can even see how many hours it has, you can see right here. And I could turn it on from here. How cool is that? I could turn it on from here. You see that? My smoker just turned on. You see? That's a cool thing. Charbro or any electric smoker, you will have this remote right here. Very, very handy tool to have. Now, say if you go smoke anything, this will be your best friend. Trust me. This will detect how long, how long, and what's the temperature on the smoker. So, this your this will be your best friend. So, be mindful of that. Now. If I want to do this, now let's say if I turn it on. Now, first, you want to do is you see this on temperature button right here? You see the I'll go up. Now, pH important preheat. Now, a lot of people just say I'm gonna put on to 275 or 225 and just go no, just like your oven just like your grills, anything, you gotta preheat anything. If you just say, okay, let me give you a good example. When you throw, say, you turn on the oven, you put on to three, 350, and you just throw it in the, in the oven. What's gonna happen is that food is not gonna cook all the way because you what you're not doing is you're not giving time for that oven to heat up. Well, this smoker is the same thing. If you just throw your food in there, you know what's going to happen? It's going to take forever for that food to cook. So always preheat your food. It could be the smoker, oven, grill, whatever. Preheat your food so it could get to the max temperature. Then once 40 minutes hits, after the 40 minutes hits, then... I always put on to 275. Temp, 275. I always keep it 275. I don't keep it 225. 275 is the highest I go. All right? So, there you go. All right, after you put your 275, you click that. And you see the timer? You have the timer right here. Now, you see? Four, five, six, seven, eight. 19 hours. So what you could do with that is you could smoke your turkey or brisket. Anything that takes a long time to smoke. Then after that, go. Sorry. 19. That's it. 
19 hours. Now, I'm not cooking nothing in there. I'm just showing you the time and it's very easy to turn off. So all I'll do is I'll turn it off from here. That's it. Now, let me go with one card. Yes. This smoke box. Now, I don't know what Charbro was thinking. Now, what they did was, you see how it's closed? Now, what you're doing is, you're not releasing enough smoke. I could put any chip in there, it's not gonna release that smoke that I want it. So, what I have to do, I have to tilt it like this to create that smoke. You see what I did? I tilt it. I tilt it. Because mostly people will go like this with the smoker, with the uh, char bro. I don't do that. I don't do that. Why? Because this is not going to produce smoke and it's going to take a long, long time for this to get that smoke. So, char bro, you got to come up with something better. What I do was, what I do is, I tilt it so that smoke could go all over the meat and everything. So this is my con right here. So Charles Bro, listening or uh, anybody, the smoke box is not that great. Now other brands like Master Bill, Dollar Glow, any any other um, electric smoker, that it'll be open, and that that will that will crank up the heat element too with the smoke. This is open, so that may so that means is that when it's open, all the heat, all the smoke will go to the food, and you'll see the smoke gonna go start smoking out of the way. So, Charboro, you know, guys, I wish I could um fix this issue, fix this issue right here. So that's 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 the that's the number one thing I'll. I'll be I'll complain about but other than that it's a good smoker I'm not gonna say bad also another thing now if you're gonna use a smoker get you a meat thermometer something like this now they have a meat thermometer which is over here I don't know where I'll put it anyway use this now the one they offer you, it might be great, but it's not that accurate. This is more accurate than your, than the one they provide you. So invest you one of this. Don't get the digital one. Get this. This is more accurate to read and understand. And this really will tell you how, um, if the meat is done or not. Mostly, they say. 165 I'll go beyond that 170 so get get yourself a meat thermometer invest in one now don't get the one that they provide you with get this don't go with digital digital might not last you that long so go with this all right so is the is the charbro is a good investment yes this could be my other replacement yes but if you got if you if you're patient if you're patient enough, then it could be your other place. Now, one other thing. Not only I can't smoke on this, but I could bake on it too. I did my pizza in here. All I do is put on two, 275, let it go for one hour. And let me tell you something, the pizza turned out to be phenomenal. So, and I did um, my frozen macaroni on here. 275 for two hours boom i don't need no smoke box or none of that all i use is that water tray right here this water all you do with this one oh yeah this water tray now this this water creates the moisture of the food now this one you could put water not only water you could put your beer apple juice anything in here it's going to create that moisture that you want on your smoker and that will make your meat any meat tender and fall off the bone all right so my conclusion 
should I use this as my oven replacement? Well, a yes and a no. Because there's some situation you're going to need an oven to really cook faster than this. This could be your oven replacer, but it's not going to be your complete oven replacer. Because remember, your oven goes to 500, your electric smoker goes to 275, your oven heats up like 10 or 15 minutes, while this guy, this electric smoker, will go up to 40, 40 minutes to heat up. So if you have the patience, you know, be patient. So, cook wise, two hours to cook a meat, your oven, one hour to cook a meat. So it's 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 a varies. So so you gotta keep in mind, you gotta be patient with it. Be patient with it. Don't no matter what. This will do the job. I'm telling you. But you just gotta be patient. Be patient. If you're patient, it's gonna do the job for you. Trust me. Also, make sure you close the door real tight. If it's not sealed tight, what's going to happen is you're going to have heat leakage coming out and the smoke leakage going to come out too also. That's another thing. So be mindful of that. So overall, this is a good smoker. I like it. You know, but it's not going to replace your oven because your oven goes like 500 degrees, whereas this one's 275. So if you could pick your... Oh, yeah. Also, this electric smoker could be good for your apartments. Now, let's say if your apartment does not allow you to use charcoal or gas grill, this is a good investment to throw in your in your patio in your apartment. This is a good investment. So, if you if anybody live in an apartment that have balconies, this is a good smoker. You could throw this in your in your yard. Let everybody smell the smoke and everything. This is a good investment for anybody who live in apartments. Anybody who live in the condos, regular apartments, this will be perfect. Because most apartments will not allow you to have charcoal or gas grill. So this electric smoker will be do it. Also, one other thing I forgot to mention, if you invest in an um, electric smoker, is buy your cover. Buy your cover. Now, a cover will protect the electronics from water from water hitting it now you know we live in florida and florida weather could be overwhelming so buy you a buy your cover for it okay so overall good smoker good investment if you live in an apartment one con is this smoke box so keep in mind tip if you just tilt it a little bit if you just tilt it a little bit or you want a full smoke, just tilt it like this, you want full, like this, and you want a little bit, like this. Alright? So overall, good smoker. Buy your one. Now, you don't have to buy Charbro. You could buy other brands too also. So let's get to smoking. Next video. I'm gonna be cleaning this bad boy too also. As you can see. Open it. You can see how dirty it is in there. Yep, that's why I was doing a lot of smoking. So now, how often you should clean your smoker? Well, maybe once a month or two weeks, depending how frequently you clean it. So this is not hard to do. So I'll show you some smoke coming up. All right, so thank you again for my video. On my next video, I'm gonna show you how you clean it. So stay tuned, you're gonna see me do a lot of this. I'm gonna give you instruction and I'm gonna show you how you really use your electric smoker. So thank you guys again, see you later. I'm gonna post some more cooking video on my electric smoker.